For any family, having a gifted child is a blessing. To see your offspring reach the top of their field is exciting. And to see them at the top of the tennis world with all the trappings of international stardom, wealth, power and fame is a dream come true. But the Williamses don't have just one tennis superstar in the family, they have two, champions Venus and Serena Williams. Getting into the finals of any tennis grand slam is almost an impossible feat. It takes years of coaching, training and playing, and even then, it takes special individuals to put up with the constant mental challenges of professional sports. And when it's your sister facing you across the net, a game can be even more unnerving. The Williams sisters are both known for their power on court, hunger to win, and the impressive array of championships under their belt. But they are also known for ushering in a new era of tennis. The Williams sisters brought style to a game known for its daggy white polo shirts and matching white skirts. As Venus has joked, her sister Serena is renowned for her derriere, so Venus had to somehow get one up on her. But you can be as fashionable as you like. At the end of the day, winning a tennis championship has more to do with your form on the day. I think Serena was the best player in the whole tournament this year. And uh, I, you have to give it to her for that. You know, I, my, my game went down after the fourth round. I just couldn't do anything to bring it back up. Before in the first, second, and third rounds, I was playing great, but after that, I just couldn't do anything. The sisters have always had an intense rivalry. Although they play together, grew up together, and share the same DNA, they still compete for titles, money, and recognition as fashionistas. And no one gets me more motivated than Venus, because I don't want her to catch up with me yet, so. <laughs> She's at five now, I'm still at seven, so I gotta keep ahead. Although they still compete with each other to win tournaments, no one can deny how successful each of the Williams sisters have been in their own right. Serena Williams has been ranked world number one on five separate occasions. She is the reigning champion in singles and women's doubles at the Australian Open and Wimbledon, and in women's doubles at the US Open. She has won 25 Grand Slam titles, and she is the most recent player to have held all four Grand Slam singles titles simultaneously. She has two Olympic gold medals and has won more prize money than any other female athlete in history. Following closely behind, Venus Williams has been ranked world number one on three occasions. She has won 20 Grand Slam titles and three Olympic gold medals. The sisters have been so successful in their game that they have released a book trying to teach kids proper tennis techniques. I think a lot of mistakes come from having bad techniques and not using the proper footwork. Mostly it's probably the number one mistake. And also I think um, if, you're, if you're right handed, your left arm and your forehand and your serve can also be a, a very, a very common mistake. Venus is honest about making her own game mistakes in the past when she has been focused on winning instead of on technique and developing her own game. And probably just trying to win instead of trying to develop the game. A lot of kids are just trying to win, so they'll do whatever it takes to win, but they're not necessarily developing their game. So what we encourage the kids to do in the book is to get these techniques, and we give them examples, too, of times that we didn't do what we were supposed to do <laughs> and mm -hmm. how it turned out for us. So we've got some real-life stories in there also, so that's what made it fun, because we wanted it to be fun at the same time. Who knows where these sisters would be without having the other to spur them on.